Hi, my name is Laura Wogzogan, and I will be your math instructor for this semester. Since our class is online, it's important that we have a good understanding of our syllabus, and this video is going to walk us through this. So the first thing listed here is some information. First one I want you guys to know is my office is 61-1628. My email is on here. You can also email me through Canvas inbox. And my office hours are also listed. I do have on-campus and Zoom hours, so make sure to pay attention to those times and availability. The course description, I want you guys to note that this is an online course, and we will not have any required meetings on campus. The textbook is recommended but not required, and I did give an image of that book, so that way it makes it easier for you to find if you need it. Um, a few other things we need. One is going to be a scanner. I use Adobe Scan, which is a free app. If you don't have access to this, make sure you visit the library or the marks. Graphing calculator or app. Again, if you don't have access to one, the marks has some that you can borrow for the day and more information will be provided down below. And then we also need to have printed or downloaded class notes. So whether you're working on a tablet or if you're going to print these and write on them, you have them, they're available on Canvas. And then paper and pencils or either a tablet and an Apple pencil. The prereqs are listed. Our student learning outcomes and course measurable objective are also listed. Spend some time looking through those on your own. The next section we have is homework. And so each student's responsible for his or her own learning. Homework is assigned so you can test yourself to see how well you know the material. So homework will be assigned using My Open Math and worksheets. The online homework will use a free program which is called My Open Math, or the acronym is MOM, which is embedded into Canvas. All homework assignments are due by 11.59 p.m. on Thursdays, unless otherwise stated. The assignments are listed on our course schedule, which is the last page in our syllabus, no late assignments. Also note that online homework problems can be attempted an infinite amount of time, so make sure you reattempt each problem until you get it correct and you understand the material. Usually if you have issues using My Open Math with Canvas, sometimes it will say things like the assignment is locked or you don't have access to it, and if that's the case and it is open, then usually the best thing to do is to clear your cookies on the device that you're using and your history. And so it usually will reset it and you're able to access that assignment easily. For written homework, show all work. Upload on Canvas as a single PDF file. And if you're having any trouble with homework, you need to make sure you get help. Maybe talk to classmates, attend any of our free tutoring services on campus, or visit me during office hours. Homework does count for 5% of your grade. The next thing on here is lecture video and notes. So each chapter has at least one lecture video. Some are going to have two and some have three. While watching the lecture video, make sure to fully complete all notes and examples. You may complete notes on a tablet or you can print them and fill them in as you go. The video is gonna go along with the notes, the lecture notes. And so you're able to complete all of that in one sitting, but again, just like how it is with class, you wanna make sure that you're in a quiet setting. So make sure you either visit a library or you have a quiet place at home where you can work. And throughout the lecture video, you'll be asked questions to check for understanding. The last question is a really important one. It's going to ask, did you watch the lecture video entirely? And make sure to select yes. This is how you get your five points for watching the lecture video. And lecture videos need to be completely watched by Tuesdays at 11.59 p.m. unless otherwise stated. Completed chapter notes will need to be scanned in and uploaded as a single PDF file. Make sure all your pages are done in order and those need to be filled in by Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. So 
you will notice that you have some things due on Tuesday, which are going to be your lecture videos need to be watched by, and then the notes that you are taking need to be uploaded by Wednesday. And each of those is at 11.59 p.m. each week. And those are worth 15 points. And then this will account for 5% of your course grade. The next thing we have is discussions, and there'll be one weekly discussion post. Discussions will require you not just to post to a topic, but also to respond and reply to at least one classmate. Directions and grading and expectations are going to be unique for each of these discussions, so make sure you read them before you start. And these are due by Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. for credit. And again, that's not just the posting, but also the responding to at least one classmate. This accounts for 5% of your Math 110 grade. The next thing that we have are quizzes. These are going to be individual online. They're through My Open Math, just like some of the homework is. They're chapter quizzes, so each quiz represents just one chapter at a time. Quizzes are timed, and you are also only allowed one attempt per question. So make sure that you enter in everything correctly before you submit that question making sure your decimal place is in the right spot, that you rounded correctly. And again, it's timed before you start it. It will go ahead and give you an, a warning, like you need 40 minutes to take this quiz. So make sure you have a block of time of 40 minutes to sit and take the quiz. I give you twice as much time as what is needed for you to successfully take that quiz. So make sure you have your notes out, a calculator out, and you're ready to sit and work. So these are due by Friday at 11.59, and they do open Tuesdays at 8.30 a.m. So you have a big window here to complete that. Make sure you do your homework before you take the quiz. The quizzes count for 5% of your class grade. The next grading area that we have is projects, and there's gonna be four individual computer projects. And so we will be using a computer program that can handle large sets of data the projects are due on Thursdays at 11.59 p.m. on the weeks that they are assigned. And so those are listed on our course schedule, which again is our last page in our syllabus. Projects are going to count for 25% of your grade, and more information will come out when we do talk about these. Exams and final exams. So we have three exams that the dates for those are also listed on our schedule, on our course schedule. And they might change if we have any issues, but exams um, will be given part on My Open Math and the other part will be handwritten. Make sure to note that it will be handwritten and uploaded as a PDF file, so not typed. Additional information will be provided prior to the exams. These are gonna count for 30% of your Math 110 grade they will be open for a 36 hour window. So it will be from 8 a.m. on Thursday till 8 p.m. on Friday. And we also have a comprehensive final exam, which is set for Wednesday, June 12, 2024. So this will be open for a 24 hour window and make sure you note that it will have the same setup as the other exams with part My Open Math and part handwritten. And final exams cannot be given early or late to any student. Also, if you have any test taking needs, if you're part of access, make sure you send your accommodations to me as soon as possible so I can make sure that they are being met. Here is a breakdown of our grading and also a pie chart that goes along with it. We have our Math Activities Resource Center, which is one of our tutoring centers. It is free, and they have textbooks and calculators for you to borrow, as well as tutors in there and also some instructors. The hours are listed, but you do need to register for that, and there is a link provided on here, so make sure you register. Absence and drop policies. This is a little unique since our class is online. So a student may be dropped for excessive absences. Since our class meets asynchronously, one absence is going to be kind of is not completely watching one of the lecture videos, completing one of the discussions, uploading your completed chapter lecture notes, 
or completing a computer project. If you have more than four absences, you will be dropped from the course automatically. So make sure you keep track of those absences. Here are the drop without a W and drop with a W date. Canvas resources. If you have any questions in regards to Canvas not working, there's a number there and a link to get some help. Instructor contact. So expect a 24 hour turnaround to an email from me, either at my email address or using Canvas inbox. And expect 24 hours between Monday and Thursday and expect a 48 hour response for Friday through Sunday. All grades are gonna be given back to you if it was written within a week. So make sure that you are patient with that and you understand that it's about a week turnaround to get those back to you. Here's the information we need on calculators. I will be using a TI-84 graphing calculator and I also use the app. Both of these work the same or very similarly. And so with this, there's some information. There's a few different apps that we have. One of them is called Wabbit Emu. The other one is called Graph and Calc 83. But make sure you understand how your device works. So if it's a calculator or an app, and definitely reach out if you have any questions. The marks is also a great place to get help with the calculator or the app. Student honesty. I want you to realize that if you are caught cheating, you do receive a score of zero on the entire assignment. So if it's cheating on one part of an exam, it's a zero on all three parts. Also want you to realize that you will be submitted and documentation will be submitted to Student Life. So this will go on your permanent transcript. And also um, you will be held to a hearing to discuss ways to move forward with the cheating accusations. So there's some more list on here. I wanna remind you that you are to complete quizzes, projects, and exams on your own and without the aid of any computer apps, web pages, programs, or AI. And these are also individual. So the next thing we have is student conduct. And so make sure that you are nice to not just myself, but also your classmates on Zoom, discussion boards, chats, and also through email. Again, any issues will be reported to um, Student Life. So emailing me, make sure you introduce yourself, make sure you save the class, and then also put the CRN. I do have multiple sections of statistics this semester, and so I need to know which CRN to look into. Um, on here, also make sure that you, if you're asking a homework question, only ask one problem per email. If it is a my open math problem, make sure you include an image. A lot of the my open math problems are gonna be unique for you, meaning that the wording might be the same as your classmates, but all the numbers might be different. So I need to be able to see that problem so I can help you better. So make sure you include a screenshot. And then also use polite, correct language, and keep it brief and, and concise. If you're part of Access or if you're interested in Access, the information is all provided here. So definitely something to look through or call. And then we have our course schedule on the next page. You'll notice that we have the weeks and the dates. This is gonna be starting with Monday for that week. We have the lecture videos that you do need to watch and the material that's going to be covered. The last column is going to have all the homework assignments listed. You'll see that on here. You'll also notice that some of them are going to be worksheets, such as homework number five. And then you'll also notice that like for this week, it's gonna be quiz one, um, just only covering chapter one. And then chapter two quiz will be the following week. Chapter three quiz will be the next week and so forth. And then you'll also notice that we do have discussions every single week, and those are numbered. In addition, you will also see the dates for when we have exams and the chapters that they cover. More information about exams will be posted on announcements the week prior to the exam. And then you'll also notice that we do have information about when projects are due and then also when they are going to be opened and discussed. And so on here, you'll see all the exams listed. And then you will also notice that on the last week, we do have a final exam, which again, we are gonna have on June 12th. 
and that's open for that 24 hour period. So definitely take some time to look through this. Realize again that there's something due almost every single day of the week. And it does take a few weeks to get the hang of everything. So if you have any questions, refer to the syllabus. And then you can also email me if you have any questions. I look forward to this semester. And again, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.